Three, two, one, start. Welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. Last week we touched on the USR rig that I built. This week we're filming on the USR rig and showing you all the shit I have for video production. So this is what I travel with to every job, all the cases I own, how I pack these cases, and uh, maybe you can take some tips from this as well on how to divide your gear, how to separate your gear and how to organize things a little bit better for when you go to client shoots. First things first, we have our C-stand case over here. I'm gonna set it down because it's on wheels and I have to hold it up. It doesn't sit up on its own. So we're gonna put that down, but no, we'll get back to that a little bit later. So we're gonna be going through every single one of these cases one by one. So I'm gonna clear everything off and we're gonna start with the boring, my least favorite case that I have of all of them. And that is the tripod case, I guess you can call it. And it's from newer. So let's clear off the table and we'll start with that one. All right, so we're gonna hop right into this bag. Obviously, it's gonna be tough for you guys to see. I am going to overlay some footage on top of me actually opening this, and you can kind of see the inside of how I organize it. But basically, this is the newer, some cloth uh, tripod bag, the first one I ever bought, and uh, it's still sticking with me today. The other day, it actually ripped a hole in the end of it because one of the grip heads was poking out. So it is just about to be retired. It's just about to go to the bag graveyard and never be seen again. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna keep using it until uh, until that that sad day comes when we do have to retire it. But opening up the bag here, this bag just holds all of the light stands and tripods that I use for video shoots. So pretty self-explanatory. The inside of the bag is just a long vertical strip. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven light stands in here, and then a travel tripod which is the Sunpack Travel Light Pro. I hate this tripod, it is one of the worst. And then we have a few grip heads, a grip head with the microphone holder on top of it. So that's good for holding microphones, keep all my grip heads in this bag. And then my trusty boom pole that I use for interviews that also goes in here. And then the last thing that goes in this big compartment is the tripod that the camera's on right now, which is I think the Magnus V4000 it's called. So uh, that's the last tripod I put in here. And that's generally everything that goes in this bag. There might be some knickknacks here and there that all I also throw in there, but for the majority, that's everything. In this front pocket here is these Home Depot clamps that I got for 99 cents. Great for clamping to things. And uh, I also have a friction arm that I don't use very often, but when I do use it, it gets the job done. Nothing special. Just this pocket is kind of a utility thing for any clamps or clips that I might need. Like I said, this bag is going to be retired soon because the zipper's broken, there's holes on both ends of it, but it's treated me well for the price. I think I've had it for over a year now, so it hasn't been terrible. Moving on from the tripod bag, we are gonna move to the bigger tripod bag, which is actually not being used for tripod. So let's move over to that bag now. I'll clear this bag off and we'll throw this one on top. All right, so the bag that we're gonna go over next is the Think Tank 44 inch stand monitor, I think it's called. I'll link it below and also put it over top of this. But this bag is great, super heavy duty. The wheels on it are amazing and they've been super high quality so far. The back has skid rails to throw it in the back of a truck, the back of a car, the back of wherever you want, the back of a saddle. If you're riding a horse, you throw this thing anywhere. Horse might get tired, a little heavy, but let's open up the inside and I can show you guys what we're working with. It does have these nice Velcro straps on the outside, so that's kind of cool. But if we open it up here, you guys can see that it is nice and elongated and great for, you know, a uh, dead body, a small coffin, whatever you wanna put in here. Um, you can also use it for photography and videography stuff like I have. So on the left side, we have a couple cables for my newer lights on the right, a shit ton of sandbags on the left. Well, it'd be your guys' right. On my left are these sandbags. Under the sandbags are extension cords. So any power strips that I need on set, I can run those and uh, those sit right under the sandbags. So in here right now, I have four sandbags. I do have four empty ones that are not being used right now, but I haven't needed them. If I ever need them, I can surely put sand in them and use them. But four sandbags on this side, I made sure to keep the sandbags on the bottom of the bag when I'm pulling it because then it keeps the weight towards the bottom and I don't have to have it be top heavy when I'm pulling it around. I also have a sleeve of gels in here and that's about all. On top of the zipper pocket, we have 
a little portable light here, which is, uh, it's a light, I never use it, but in case I ever need it, there it is. Also have a handle for said light. Can run around like Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones carried a lantern, didn't he? But modern day lantern. That goes in that pocket there, and we'll move on to this side now, which is my right, your guys' left. Directions are cool. Yeah. So on this side, we have this pouch, which keeps a bunch of random accessories if I ever needed it. I have went over what's in this in my 2020 what's in my camera bag video. So I'll link that up top. I'll also link it at the end if you guys wanna watch that. But basically in here are chargers, headphones, um, adapters, there's a couple hard drives in case I need, some extra batteries. Just the generic stuff that's, uh, if you get down into that oh shit moment where you're forgetting something, this bag comes in handy. Slide that in nice and tight. This bag does come with a sweet little divider in the middle, so that's very nice. Next to that, we have some gaff tape, which I just throw in here. Gaff tape's essential for every videographer. These cables, which were actually on this side. The cable that is using this light right here actually goes in this bag too, so this will go with these two cables, but we're powering it right now to light this video. We have this spotlight cylindrical thing for the Godox SL60W in case you need that. And also the cover, those both go in this right side. And then two newer LED panels for hair lights, backlights, room lights, whatever you might need. Just two panels here. So this sit here, this Godox SL60W that is off frame that we're using to light the scene also sits next to these newer panels and then everything else you just throw in here wherever and Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt. Carol's my grandma. I actually have two of them, two Carol's. So that is what is in these bags. In this zipper pocket is honeycomb grid. So if you need to attach that to a soft box, make the light a little bit more directional, you can surely do that. Zip that up in this pocket is, I don't even know, zip ties. In case you ever kidnap someone, you need to zip tie their hands together. So good pocket for kidnapping. Um, that's everything inside of this bag. Let's move on to the bigger black bag. I call it the bigger black bag, but it is the Think Tank 52 inch C-stand manager, something like that. I'll link it obviously, but let's move on to that bag. That's what holds the C-stands. All right, so this bag's quite heavy. Now that I think about it, I should have shot this more vertical so you guys could actually see these bags standing up, but opening up this bag, just like the Think Tank uh, stand manager 44 inch, this one is very, it's got hard um, hard padding. Let's just put a hard padding. It's got some hard padding um, and it has some cinch down clamps on the outside to tighten things. But when we open it up, first thing we see are all of the C-stands laid out. This back pocket here is where I keep my soft box for the light that we have now. We're not using it, so if we pull this out, here's the soft box case. This just slides in the pocket. Nice and easy, all the way to the bottom, and uh, good to go. So, other than that, we have three C-stands in here with the C-stand arms. Um, I'm not gonna take them out because they are kind of a pain in the ass to put back in there, but super nice. I was looking for a bag that could actually fit the C-stands because a lot of them don't. They're not long enough, but when you break these down, if you get a C-stand with legs that can come off, uh, they fit in here pretty sweet. So I think it says you can fit up to four C-stands. You can definitely fit more of the columns laying down. Um, you could probably fit at least six of the columns, but the legs might be a struggle to get in there. So this C-stand bag, one of my favorite purchases that I've made as far as video production traveling goes from office to business to film things. This has been a lifesaver, not having to carry every single C-stand into the building. So I'm super, super happy that I got this. Let's move on to the actual fun stuff now, which is the Pelican cases, which holds the brains of the operation, the cameras and all the fun stuff. So let me throw a Pelican case on top. Oh, she's a beefy boy. Okay, starting with the Pelican Air 1615 hard case. I'll lift it up here. It's pretty big. You can see if I stand it up on this table, it's, it's pretty large, right? So it's, it's decent size and you can fit a lot in it. Now we're gonna open it up and see what I actually do put in it. So when you open this up, it does have a foam padding on top, which you can switch out for, you know, a divider where you put in zipper pockets and all that kind of thing. But I've decided to go with the extra padding and keep the foam. If I ever need more space, I will move to the zipper padding uh, when I need it. This first skinny pocket we're gonna talk about is uh, for my gimbal 
the Zeon Crane 2. Now I keep all the accessories in here, all of the handles, all of the legs go right in this skinny pocket. I'm not gonna take them all out, but you get the idea. They all fit the lengthways of the case and fit in here nicely. It's pretty cool because you can strip it down nice. And I'm sure you could do the same thing if you had a Ronin S or uh, whatever gimbal you might have. So super skinny pocket that I love. One thing about these Pelican cases that is literally amazing is these Trek pack dividers. I love them. They smell unbelievable. If I could get a car, little tree scent thing to hang up in my car, I would. I would, I would buy every, every one in the United States of America. Continental. I can't, I can't go to Hawaii and Alaska, but continental United States, I buy every single one, put in my car, smells amazing, still smells good, and I got them a while ago. So let's move on from the smelling of the Trek Pack dividers and uh, move into this far pocket here. Now, what I keep in this is mainly batteries for my rig that we are filming on right now, a uh, Nucleus Nano case, which is a Nucleus Nano case, holds all the things cases hold. Let's open this up here, show you guys. This holds all of the accessories you need for the Nucleus Nano. I slide that in the side. This holds my V-mount batteries, so V-mount battery one. This has some MPF batteries in it because the other V-mount is on the back of the camera, but those two cases sit on top of the trusty drone, which is the Mavic Air 2. This comes with the Fly More combo, so it even came with its nice little case. Unzip it. There's the pretty drone. Sits in the Pelican case perfectly. So slide this in the side and then right on top sits my batteries. So we'll put these back and move on to the middle compartment, which is audio. So basically how I designed all my Pelican cases is to put the things in different compartments so I know where everything's at every single time. This side, batteries and drones. Middle, audio. Far left is all the rig accessories. So when I have to strip down my EOS R rig, I put the accessories in this far spot, like the handle, the cage, the Atomos Ninja 5, Nucleus, all that stuff goes in this big empty compartment. Now, if we go to the audio section here in the middle, we have two XLR cables to run our boom mic. We have our boom mic holder, which does exactly what it says. It holds the boom mic. It just sits right in here, plugs into the XLR cable. Next to that, we have a pair of headphones, Sony, whatever they're called, I'll link it. And uh, these are super nice for listening to audio in the middle of the interviews. We have our two mic condoms, sleeves, whatever you wanna call them. This one's good for wind. This one's good for less wind. Next to that, on the very side, we actually have the Rode NTG3, which sits in this nice, pretty black leather bag like I'm about to be an arms dealer and it's a it's a, um it's a bundle of cash but really it's just a microphone which i spent a lot of cash on so this goes in this nice little sleeve and then uh put that away under that under next to that we have this little pouch which carries my lav mic there's nothing in this bag because i'm wearing a lav mic now because i wanted to show you guys everything that i could so minimal setup lav mics on me but it usually goes in this case. Next to that is cables, pouch for cables. And I love these think tank pouches. I'm a big fan of think tank. So these think tank pouches, wow, say that three times fast. Think tank, think tank, think tank. Every cable I'd ever need for video production is in here. Under that is this hard case, which houses the Zoom H6. In here are all the adapters you need, like the attachments for the top, cables, wind muffs, all of that good stuff is in this case. And uh, I like that it's a hard case, so I can just throw it in wherever I want, throw it down a hill, throw it in the back of a dog sled. Wherever I need to throw it, I can throw it. Put all this audio stuff back. Then we can move on to our next Pelican case, which is the cameras. The last case that we're going to talk about today is the Pelican Air 1535. I'm going to use the Pelican 1615 as a little prop up table so you guys can see it a little bit better. But this case here, same as the other case, just a little bit smaller houses everything that I would need for a shoot bare minimum. So let's open this up. Just like the other case, comes with a padded top. Oh, it smells so remarkably good. I just wish you guys could smell it. Every piece of equipment is designed to have its own location. So let's just rip into it and uh, we'll get going. In this back corner here, we have our 16 to 35 lens. Uh, fits in as snug as you can get, nice and tight. Not much wiggle room. 
and uh, fits in there perfectly. I do like to write on a piece of gaff tape and put that on the top of my lenses. So I always know which is which. Eventually you figure out which is which because it's in the same spot. But if you ever have an assistant on set and you tell them, go grab the 18 to 35, boom, makes it super quick for them to just grab it up. In the next pocket next to that, I have a aperture portable light. I can't remember the model, but I have one of these little portable lights with a couple gels. It's the ALM9. So that just goes right in here. The chargers, the gels, everything are in this pouch and it just sits in this little side pocket. Next to that, I have a little duster thing that I don't use, all for aesthetics. In the pocket next to that is the 100 millimeter macro Canon F 2.8. Very nice lens, very expensive lens, and it works half of the time. So what do you do? You just, do you return it or do you just, do you just take it in the rear? Do you just take it? Cause that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of taking it. Next to that is the microphone of choice that I use for vlogging and, you know, scratch audio to sync up my interviews and such. This is the Rode Video Micro. Cable is attached to the camera right now into my lav mic. So cable usually sits in here as well, but this is where the mic goes. Under that is the Canon Nifty 50. I don't use this lens rarely ever, but when I need to, it's there. So I just stick that under the mic. Let's save this pocket for last because it's got a lot of junk in it. Across from the mic is an empty spot, another camera spot that is for the EOS R. So when that camera rig is stripped down, just the body will go in this pocket. Next to that is the B cam, the Canon ADD, which fits in nice and perfect. All of these are nice and snug. So it's not wiggling around if I'm ever dragging it somewhere or going somewhere. Behind that one is the C cam, which never gets used. I should probably just get rid of it, is the Canon T3i but it's my first camera I ever used, so it has, it has a place in my heart. I enjoy it. So I keep it in there for uh, aesthetics. And if I ever need it, if both my other cameras just jump off a cliff, that baby's there for me. Next to that is a bigger pocket with another empty space. That is the house for the Sigma 24 to 70, which is on the camera right now. So that sits here nice and snug. And then next to that, since there is some wiggle room, are some Manfrotto base plates that I use for my tripods, gimbals, all the works. So that's what this pocket's for. Next to that is the SD card case, which is also from Pelican. I do not love it. It's foam on the inside and sometimes hard to keep your SD cards to stay, but that slides in nicely right here. Next to that is a black hard case that has a bunch of knickknacks. So in here is a pocket knife. There is some finishing powder in here in case a client gets really oily and greasy during an interview. You can put this on their face to kind of cut down the shadows. On this side of things, there are a couple Allen wrenches at the bottom, a couple microfiber cloths, and then sitting on top of that are my Moment lenses. So if I ever need to get anything with my phone, the Moment lenses are here to be uh, used whenever needed. And the last pocket that we're gonna go over is this bigger pocket, which houses a few different things. One of the things being batteries. So batteries on top. In here are camera batteries. And in this one are AA batteries, rechargeable. I can't stress enough how important it is to have rechargeable batteries because shit hits the fan and you need more batteries, you don't wanna be raising the stock price of Duracell just because you constantly buy their batteries. So get the rechargeable ones, thank me later. Next to that is a small rig tool to put whatever I need together, put some accessories on my cage together, put it on a tripod, there's a flat head, there's a couple screwdrivers, a couple Allen wrenches. This thing is a lifesaver, so everyone should have one of these in their kit. Under that is my filter case for all my ND filters and step up rings. So as you can see here, pull it out, ND filter. Under that is this makeup brush. So to use that finishing powder that I explained in there, here's a makeup brush, pretty self-explanatory. And under that is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, which is a phone gimbal. So that all stacks in there super nicely. This thing I don't use a ton, so it just goes at the bottom. And if I need it, I need it. Brush filter case, batteries, batteries, small rig tool, done. So that's pretty much the whole entire case, top to bottom. 
Those one, two, three, four, five cases are all I ever need, most of the time, all I ever need for my video production work. Sometimes I'll bring a laptop bag or whatever, but it's generally these cases that gets me through everything. Hopefully that's a cool insight to get to see how I pack my gear, all the gear that I own, that's pretty much all of it except a couple accessories here and there, but this is pretty much everything in five different cases. Hopefully you took something out of this. If you have any questions about the cases, about the equipment in the cases, about how you can pack things, I'd be glad to chat about that. So leave a comment, send me a message on Twitter, Instagram, write a letter, whatever you wanna do, I'll get it. I'll help you out. I will we'll get to the bottom of organizing. Cases are one of my favorite thing. A lot of people might not think that they're super important to buy, but they are essential to make your video production job easier. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys tuning in the whole entire time. If you like this video, you might like a couple of these videos over here. This is one from last week showing my whole camera rig. And this is one of my most popular videos that a lot of people must like it. So maybe you'll like it too. Maybe you should watch it. Go watch it. Stop watching this and click this one. Thank you.